Good evening lovely friends and developers. Today we'll talk about Angular Dart, so the Angular Dart, uh, Angular framework for Dart language. Uh, I got a lot of uh, questions uh, and direct messages and uh, asked me for to do uh, some uh, review about the Angular and Angular Dart specifically. So today we'll talk about this one. So this course will take uh, so it will take more than one video so it, yeah make your agenda maybe and what are we going to build is uh, kind of like courses and courses are where we can do uh, the normal crowd uh, uh, crowd app where we can add uh, uh, add a course or delete course or, or even view the course and even uh, edit the course and update it so this is the normal uh, normal uh, app and it will be basic and we will not focus more and uh, we will not focus in, on the styling so uh, for styling it will be bootstrap or maybe tilewind css and uh, we will go through every uh, thing that you need to know before you jump into the course so first you need to have a, a dart so you need to have basic knowledge of dart and this for dart pad you can you can learn how to how to the dart uh, uh, syntax how it works so it's, it's uh, uh, for me it's kind of the same as typescript i, I see it it's kind of the same as typescript so it has a typing it has all the uh, same things as uh, typescript and the second thing we need to, to think about it is uh, we will use VS Code, so you need a Dart uh, extension for VS Code, and you need also to install the Pop Global Activate Web Dev. So this is the Web Dev that we can use, and we you have to use it in in a global, so we can run a Web Dev to uh, run the web app. <music> We will start by opening the VS Code and then uh, we will hit uh, the Shift Command P in the, uh, in the Mac and we choose Dart New Project or maybe type it to see it if you don't see it. So And then uh, Dart New Project and then hit Enter and then you will get all the options. One of them is the first one is Angular Dart Web App. So we will choose Angular Dart Web App and then we call this one is a Courses. And hit enter and then it will uh, uh, ask you to choose where do you put this one so i will use a boilerplate here and then select folder to put the project in and that will open automatically the the project in another uh, window of vs code and the, that will uh, start installing all the uh, pop uh, all the packages and also bring all the files from uh, the github repo so now uh, all the packages is ready and installed and before we get started, before we go through all the files here, let's try first to see which commands that we have to run the app. So as we said, the web diff, it will be installed globally. So you have to install uh, web diff globally and then we can run web diff serve with dash dash auto uh, auto refresh. And that means that the, uh, the browser should be refreshed uh, every, with every change, every change. Um, uh, also, uh, I need to uh, refer something to to the documentation of WebDev. So I will put the, the, in the description below. I will put the documentation of WebDev because it has more uh, for more flags that you need to know. So we will start, and then we had uh, WebDev serve and this one, and then say enter, and that will start initializing this. Uh, the app and start reading the file, uh, all the files. And for the first time, it will take a bit longer. So, and then, so if you open the app in the localhost 8080s, you will see it's just a to do app where uh, all the uh, elements is from material uh, UI element. And you can use it uh, something like uh, something here. I think that you can do most yeah you can do also here you can uh, uh, complete the to do you can delete it also and so this is the the initialization of the app so this is we will remove all of this just to let you know so uh, we will keep this running and then we will hide the terminal so 
we will if you will go uh, first to through the app files we will see that uh, it comes with the index.html and that's uh, first here we see a dart tool this is all the packages and will be installed here and we have library uh, which is in the lib folder which is this all the files that should be comes here if you are uh, dart if you are a Dart developer and you do Flutter, you know already that's uh, the thing that always comes here in your component, your startup is always here. And then the test folder it will be outside and then you, you will have web. So the web is actually is the, it's kind of like the public if you are the uh, React or uh, uh, let's say, yeah, if you are a React developer, then you have like public and this is kind of like the public folder of your app. So you have favorite fav icon, index.html, main Dart, which is the main uh, JS and React. And then you have your, uh, like the global styling. So, uh, and then you go to ignore packages, all these things is doesn't really uh, matter, but uh, important that you, you see the pop spec yaml and this is the like the package json and the on uh, on all the uh, javascript frameworks so it's like uh, here we use the sdk which sdk environment angular and uh, angular components here this angular components means the material ui uh, components so we can remove this one because we're not going to use them and we have also diff dependencies where we use Angular test, runner, and um, compiler, and all these diff dependencies. And the rest is uh, inside the web. So as we said, uh, Fava icon, index.html, main JS, and this is where we start the running the app, and then it will use the uh, app component ng factory. So we will go through this uh, by details later. So web, and then we have lib. Uh, lib or maybe library and then this the beginning of the app so this app will start by app component art so if you are an angular developer you know already that every component inside the angular it has the html css or maybe you can combine them all of here so it is the same there is no difference the only difference here in angular and typescript uh, is that uh, you do always export the class uh, in Angular uh, TypeScript? Here you you don't do that. Uh, it will be globally. So because this is feature uh, from Dart, and for the rest it's mostly the same. So you don't have that much uh, difference. And oh, for every time or if I see any differences, I will say like, hey, this is different than Angular TypeScript. Uh, you have your HTML, which is the same HTML, and then your component uh, CSS. Uh, and then you have your source, where you have to-do list, and then your component CSS. All this the same, is the same as Angular, so you have CSS file, uh, CSS file or SAS file. You have your component, where you import uh, all these uh, files, you initialize your app. And then you have the HTML, which is the view. And that's based on Angular. Simply use the MVC. So uh, you have your view, uh, the component initializer, and then uh, the model. And we don't use model here, but we will use it later. We have also the surfaces, which is also the same as uh, typically the same. So that's it. Uh, what we were going to do is remove the to-do list here, and we will start one by one to uh, build our app. Okay, let's start by uh, first, we will go through uh, the files here. I mean, uh, the index HTML here. So first we will need, uh, we need the styling. So we will use bootstrap uh, uh, CSS framework. So I'm just gonna grab the link here. So you can have it here. The the link in the description below or with the code so you can see it so this is the cdn for bootstrap and you put it uh before your uh, own styling so your own styling here is style css and the second one is we will use the the icon monster so to have our icons so let me grab also the icons here and that's also 
the icon monster uh, and then uh, we can use it just a normal uh, tag element ta HTML tag element and then uh, the font will be included that's good uh, the third thing we need also uh, so asset should be inside the web component inside the uh, web uh, directory so I will uh, bring this one asset inside the web directory and then just copy the web so normally we don't you, uh, put the assets in the uh, lib folder or in, inside the source because Dart will not understand uh, uh, the, any assets or will not grab any files from there so we put them here so it will be in the compile time and also it will bring uh, this one in the build also so you can see it uh, actually in actual uh, this one to here and he will say replace yes so my Fava account will be the same as the logo but just a small one and I have a couple of, uh, so this is just normal uh, images that I will use inside any course uh, just a, like placeholder and also this is the for home page that we will use so another point is that our uh, design so this is the uh, sketch that we will use uh, for uh, our app so no, if you would go here like for example so this is the home page this is gonna be the logo navigation and then the profile anything related to the profile the account or something like this and then we have just the normal the image home image that uh, as we said before so and then we have uh, just the normal text and then when you click here on the explore all that is go via an, to another page which is co courses and we will have our uh, footer and the courses we will see also the same the header and the footer will be uh, uh, the same and then uh, we will see just our courses uh, fetched and also all the courses will be uh, in, in a grid display that's it for this part thank you for watching and see you in the next video